There are two categories of things in Moodle that uh, the designers uh, thought would make sense as far as presenting course material. Moodle considers these resources on the one hand and activities on the other. So a resource is a link to a website, it's a video, it's a, an HTML page, uh, another piece of text, a file you download, it's anything you really need to look at or review to do your work. Those are called resources. The other things that what you typically would treat as homework are called activities. So we're going to talk just a little bit about these. So first I'll talk about resources. So there's some examples here in the course and I'm going to go ahead and collapse uh, topic three. So we're just looking at that and it's worth reading through this information and understanding it. And there's also a note here about resources. And so it opens up and you can read a little bit about resources. Go back to the main page. I want to show you some examples here. So I'm going to click this sample web page opening in the same window with the course blocks. We talked earlier about these blocks on the right and the left are here. So there's the one for people. And you can click on participants to see who else is in the class with you. And uh, so we'll click this web page. And notice it basically changes. So we now have new content here. And this down below here is just dummy content. But this could be a homework assignment, something you're supposed to read, even a poem from your instructor then we can go back. So that's one kind of resource, just online text. Another kind of resource, um, just text you need to read. Notice the font is slightly different. Uh, there's less formatting there. So anything that the teacher needs to present, they can present that way. Um, and you will also see early in the course, there was a video that you got a chance to look at. For example, uh, when I did my introduction, you click right here and the video opens up within the main page. So there are different ways for these to open and the instructors have different uh, choices to make but as long as you know that clicking on these links provides you with resources you should be fine. In addition these icons tell you a little bit. Usually this page shows you that it's going to a web page. Of course that web page could include a video or a graphic or something else like that. So all of the material you, you need to look at is considered are considered resources. And they could include PowerPoint presentations, files, if you're in a drafting class, the files you need to download and that sort of thing. In addition, your instructor can put information right on the main page like this. You should read these notes, have a look at the picture, may or may not be relevant to the content of the class. And then here you'll even see notes, these are called labels, right in the middle of the course that are telling you additional information. This one says click each link for important help. And then these act as sort of captions and titles. Right? So those are resources, and in the next video we'll talk a little bit about the activities, but we're going to focus on three activities, the assignments, the forums, and the quizzes.